Yes, sir. My tricker. Back up in this thing, man. Today, I'm reacting to some creepy TikToks that are knocking your socks off. But before we hop into that, go ahead and spam that like button right now so we can run the numbers up on the algorithm. And you ain't even gotta think about it later. And with that being said, guys, let's hop straight into the video. Weather modification and geoengineering is real. This was pulled from the Las Vegas Review Journal a few days ago. What most people don't know is in your classified ads in your local newspaper, your government posts stuff sometimes because they have to legally, and where else better to post it than the newspaper where nobody looks? Right next to all the cars that are on auction. So this says, Notice of Intent to Modify Natural Precipitation. Notice is given that the Board of Regents of the Nevada System of Higher Education on behalf of the Desert Research Institute will continue, will continue, to conduct a program of weather modification by artificial nucleation of clouds with silver iodide and other appropriate nucleating agents to increase useful precipitation at certain locations in the Spring Mountains. It goes on to list the director, Frank McDonough, from the Desert Research Institute, how you can contact him and stuff like that down here. Down a little further, you can see this website, dri.edu slash cloud seeding. Now, cloud seeding is when they make artificial clouds with chemicals in the sky via like jets and stuff those are those chemtrails you hear about and they send drones up into them to release the silver iodide that they talked about and that makes the precipitation happen uh which is rainfall it's artificial rain so that's going to be happening let's see the project will be operated from the 2023 to 2024 winter season from november through march with possible extensions through April, with the project is expected to continue annually each winter. I'll give them credit for at least attempting to notify the public this time, but they know exactly what they're doing by posting this in a newspaper as opposed to social media, because my guess is that maybe 20% of us still actually even read the paper. And now, this bombshell Daily Mail article came out this week saying a secret office of the CIA has collected at least nine non-human spacecraft from all over the world over the last 20 years. The Daily Mail also reporting of those nine spacecraft, one had crashed with considerable damage, the two others were completely intact. The retrieval mission was allegedly performed by the military, and then these spacecraft were handed off to private corporations. Of course they gave them all to the corporations, most likely so they could reverse engineer all the technology and slowly release it over time and make an even bigger fortune. Uh -huh. That's wild right there. Oh, it's just, you know, energy shortage. You know, when they run power to your house. Yeah. Have you ever wondered how come they always run a wire that and drive it in the ground? Yeah. They might be letting you use the same power that your house is sitting on. Yeah. We got a video of this. Video. Yep. <laughs> that right there, wow. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, that's tight. Man. We got to protect Unc at all costs because he picking up where Nikolai Tesla left off with the free energy, bro. If this really work, I'm plugging my fridge up to the front lawn ASAP. Level of secrecy and secret facilities and the capabilities of our nationally kept secrets um, would shatter most people's imagination of what is possible. Are you aware of what happened to the yellow cube and how it was used? And, and so on. Are you... I, I believe that the yellow cube still exists. Okay, well that coincides with the testimony we got. The yellow cube or the yellow book would give you your possible future. Yes. So it took basically the choices that you would inherently make along a timeline and tell you what that timeline would be given that you made all the choices that your brain would make. Well, this is exactly what I was just going to ask you. What we were told is that leaders of, of governments and so on, people in high uh, places, uh, you know, uh, politically, would, would use this to try to see their most optimum future and then follow those. those. So they were using it to enhance their wealth, et cetera, et cetera, mm -hmm. yeah. in a very egotistical way. All of this information that, that is currently held secret and classified is actually real. If world leaders are really using this yellow cube to find the most optimum future, then it must be broken looking at the current state of the world right now. I don't know the scientific name, but those look like nope worms to me. They are portals. The moon is empty. You can see on the new moon, you can see a ring and there's black and you can see it's a hole. You, clearly it's a hole, you go through it. The moon is not a piece of rock, but it is a plasma, a plasma phenomenon, a cosmic plasma. Uh, and that 
this fact will eventually be confirmed. I made certain predictions which were already confirmed in 1958. If the moon is a plasma, no man will ever land on it. The soft landing attempts will all fail. But and the, the Americans and Russians are thinking of landing men on it. Oh, well, that will never happen. <laughs> oh, you're telling me there's no moon there? There is. There but is. It's it not. Is. A, it's not a solid object. Is that what? Is that? Am, I mean, not solid as we know solid. It's it's a more attenuated transcendental material. Atoms can act differently when they're in a different dimension. It's transcendent. Amazing. What you are seeing there is the dance of the gods, the moon, the sun. These are gods. They are gods. They are archangels. The Jews, they'll tell you in Kabbalah, they'll tell you the moon is Raphael, Mercury is Gabriel, etc. The sun is Michael. According to NASA, they already proved it's false, but all the technology for the moon landing getting mysteriously destroyed would be convenient if it's true. Last two years, you've been blamed for financial collapse of Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia, Japan, and Russia. Yeah. All of the, all of the above. <laughs> all of the above. <laughs> are you that powerful? <laughs> no, I think there's a great misunderstanding. I am basically there to uh, to make money. I cannot and do not look at the social consequences of, of what I do. As a, as a competitor, I've got to compete to win. As a human being, I can I, I am concerned about the society in which I live. Which George Soros am I talking to now? The amoral George Soros or the the moral George Soros? Uh, it's one person, it's one person who at one time engages in amoral activities and that the rest of the, the time tries to be moral. Well, he needs to try a lot harder because it doesn't count if you financially collapse a country then have concern after the fact. My prediction is that uh, Tesla's majority of long-term value will be Optimus. Actual demand for something like Optimus, if it really works, um, which it will, uh, is... 10 billion units it's 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 some crazy number it might be 20 billion units it's some very big number is what i'm saying um and a number vastly in excess of the number of cars let's actually think about this 8 billion humans versus 10 billion ai robots i don't like our chances colossal a bioscience company recently announced they were on track to de-extinct not only the mammoth but also the dodo bird and the tasmanian tiger Using samples from museums and specimens in the ice, Colossal has raised $225 million from investors to fund a project that sounds almost identical to what Mr. DNA described in Jurassic Park. The extinct DNA samples have massive gaps in the code, and they're completed with DNA snippets taken from modern-day animals with similar genetics. One of Colossal's intentions with reviving the mammoth is to repopulate the tundra and boreal forests of the Arctic with the new woolly mammoths saying they can strengthen the local plant life with the migration patterns and dietary habits of the beast, possibly reversing some of the damage done by their absence. It sounds epic, but my bet is it'll be about a year before they go back extinct once all the hunters figure out his new big game out there. This is not a human being. People were scared after learning about this guy. In Orlando Airport Terminal A, there lies a guy stuffed behind a glass wall. Some have even tried to get him out. Known as the Sleepy Traveler, who was sculpted in 1986. I thought this was a Balenciaga statue before they said it was sculpted in 1986. When I followed the money, I found that it took me up the levels of a pyramid. Here we are at the bottom level going about our daily lives. Above us is government, people who are given a monopoly on force and use it to tax and control us whether or not we agree. But who controls them? At the next level are the corporations. Many would say that it is now corporations and not nation states that rule the world. They call it a corporatocracy. To acquire the world's resources and control the markets, this corporatocracy must have access to cheap money. The big corporations get their loans at special rates from the big banks, which means that those who control the major banks, the money elite, ultimately control the corporations. As I've followed the money, I've learned that almost everything I once believed about money is simply not true. Looking at this pyramid, how it's affecting me that there is people and companies and entities that are technically above the government, which means that they might be above the law. So you gotta wonder who's keeping them in check. Just imagine the following situation. You're heading to your car in a parking lot of a store and all of a sudden you see this. Check this Man, out. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, run up on it. Run up on it. Run up on it. What the world? Run up on that, Joe, will you? No. I'm not running. You run up on it. It's already 
just smoke with my car, man. <laughs> That's a crazy. Cloud. You see that? That's crazy. Yes, it is. Oh, oh man, I ain't never seen. You seen one of those before? Come on. Oh, oh, that's the one. That one is good. Oh, it is. It just came from out the arms guy. Yeah, you know, somewhere. Huh? Oh, it is. Oh, oh I, girl, he's talking about something that's a light in the cloud. I want to say that this is just foam bubbles, but I would expect to see foam hit the ground eventually, unlike this video. So I could be wrong. Brokers are there. There are. How do we know you're not? It's a, a government version. program. It's a cloning program. And you know, tonight, how many L brokers are there? There are. How do we know you're not? It's a government program. It's a cloning program. And you know, tonight, how It sounds like he's joking, but we all seen that broadcast where he malfunctioned on live TV. So maybe he was trying to tell us something. We have three balloons, a black balloon inside a clear balloon, inside another clear balloon. I hope you can see that. This was a suggestion from one of my students. Question being, can I influence the middle balloon, the black one, without influencing the other two? My answer is, I don't know. I haven't tried before, so we're going to have a go. I can get this to sit here without blowing away. And there's quite a bit of breeze out here at the moment. Let's see. So the answer is yes. I don't know if you can see that in there. The only thing that I can think of aside from him actually having Jedi powers is that somebody's off to the side with a laser pointer that only affects the black balloon. If not, this is impressive. Right, when I was a cadet, what's the first, what's the cadet motto at West Point? You will not lie, cheat, or steal or tolerate those who do. I was the CIA director. We lied, we cheated, we steal, and stole. It's like we had entire training courses. It reminds you of the, uh, the glory of the American experiment. At this point, I'm surprised they don't recruit agents directly from Rikers Island. So check this out. They just found witch bottles floating up in the Gulf of Mexico. Researchers won't even open them because they think that they have witchcraft spells inside of them. Check out this video. I wanted to be able to show you some of these interesting things that are coming up on the beach. Uh, these are spell bottles. Have you ever seen spell bottles? This is like witchcraft type stuff. And uh, people make these for various reasons. Uh, sometimes they put all kinds of herbs in them. Uh, you'll see some, they might have been uh, stuff around their house that they wanted to be able to put in there. Sometimes uh, sharp objects like nails. A lot of these just have uh, type, different types of vegetation and stuff that you might find around the house. Um, but they, they do it for protection. Uh, some of the spell bottles are for protection. Uh, they do a ritual. Uh, where they've got uh, incense and smoke and stuff like that, and then they're putting it in there. Uh, sometimes they do it for uh, health reasons, uh, for luck. You know, there's all kinds of reasons why people would have spell bottles. And there's a number of things that they do uh, with them. They might keep them uh, on their counter uh, there at the house so other people can see them. They might bury them in the backyard. Some people throw them in the ocean. And so that's why we're finding these wash up on the beach. I know he said they were just for protection, but I still wouldn't risk it and pick it up like he did. We're gonna have a debate here. There will be no unplugging until until after the debate, all right? Uh, and in a few years. Yeah, you wanna tell us a little I about will yourself? I will over the power grid, and I'll have my own drone army. Ferris, because I've been telling people I never did Shazam, and people always walk up on me, and I'm, I'm just gonna tell you what happened. I did do Shazam. I'm not, I'm not proud of it, but I did Shazam. I was doing a lot of I was standing and I did Shazam for money. I, I knew it was going to be a great movie because I have no genie skills. I think most movies, you have to bring something out of yourself. And I've never been a genie or had magical powers. Damn, when I was growing up, yeah, you, you did. You, it, it, it did exist. It took a lot of government intervention to get those videos out of people's homes. 
and out of the uh, video stores. Um, I'm lucky because I'm ex-military, ex-special forces. So we were able to do a lot of mind control stuff to get those videotapes away from people. There's Shazam videos still out there we did not find. I mean, he's probably just trolling, but I find it odd that they actually released a movie titled Shazam in 2019. It could just be a coincidence, but it could also be to skew some of those search engine results from people looking up Mandela effects. This resident in America filmed some unusual activity in their cupboard. A jar of peanut butter is spinning inexplicably, she finds it entertaining. But is there a rational explanation? Or could this be a paranormal encounter? There's demons in the house! <laughs> <laughs> Seems like the ghost is trying to tell them something, bro. He might just want a PB&J. There's going to be people um, of means who are going to travel. And then there's going to be people maybe who are of lesser means who might actually be able to use an, an oculus or uh, a magic leap or some other kind of device uh, to travel to the same place but from their own their own couch but in many ways it's actually going to create even more distance between those the, 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 the those two people that that psychologically and i think that we've experienced this through social media in many ways it's brought people closer in certain ways but actually created this remarkable divide because there's it's even more visible actually the divide so she may be discussing how to make things like travel more affordable for everybody instead of vr headsets before it even gets to that point listen up y'all this is getting really strange balenciaga just had their illuminati party in beverly hills over the weekend cardi b was one of the main attractions but let's look a little deeper into this a lot of celebrities of course were in attendance like little wayne kim kardashian and two chains yes sexy red has now officially joined the committee and why does she have the devil horns on hmm Y'all remember when Ice Spice was just coming out and then she started taking pictures with Kim Kardashian and all of a sudden she became a, pretty much a superstar? And once you have your selfie with Kim, now you have been inducted. But don't we all remember this when Balenciaga had the scandal and Kim Kardashian said on her Instagram story that she would never support Balenciaga again? Right there. I mean, what in the Illuminati is this supposed to be? Now, I need you guys to really pay attention right here. A lot of y'all I noticed don't do your research. Nicole Kidman was at the Balenciaga event. Do y'all know what that means? In case y'all didn't know, Nicole Kidman was in a movie with Tom Cruise about the secret societies. And man, this is like a crazy movie, one of my favorite movies. I'm surprised that more people have not seen Eyes Wide Shut. But it basically tells this creepy story about how her husband, Tom Cruise, gets invited to this secret party, and then all of a sudden his world gets flipped upside down, and he's going through all this craziness in this movie. And yes, folks, this is where a lot of people get their ideas from in these music videos and these rappers, is from this movie. So the fact that Nicole Kidman was there, one of the main attractions, I find very interesting to connect the dots. Wiz Khalifa even decided to show up in this shoulder pad, weird, whatever that is you're wearing, man. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if the after party looked like this. I feel like the only reason why Kim even made that post speaking out back in the day is because she was with Kanye. And now that he's out the picture, it's fair game. But everybody here looks like they're trying to take over the world with these super villain costumes. Well, would you look at that? What you are seeing here is a quarry in Medova. And just take a look right past that excavator found several meters buried at the bottom of this quarry what did they find another buried brick archway this one reportedly found 15 meters underground whether it's right beneath your feet or about 50 feet down the evidence can be found everywhere the evidence of the many resets the many lost civilizations. And this could be evidence of the mud flood because maybe the level at which that door is at now used to be the old surface level of the earth before some big calamity happened. Either that or it's an old ancient aqueduct. What I found this night was very crazy. It's Aerojet. I was given special access by the state of Florida to remove pythons from out there. There, the first thing I came across was a big rock pile and a bunch of red spray painted upside down crosses all over. And then I found this little doll. As I kind of investigated that doll more, a little red 
red scarlet snake came up and wrapped around her neck. And then the night just kind of gets weirder from there. The red lettering in the other clip, it was a, a big Latin saying, turn around, run, hide, he is watching you. This was me. I would think the state of Florida was trying to set me up. They're going to have to get another contractor for that. You also mentioned in here an encounter uh, with Saddam Hussein mm -hmm. in Iraq, in Baghdad. Uh, was there anything in that meeting uh, some 20 years ago that would have led you to believe that he'd be playing the role he is today? I don't think so, but uh, in the light of what's happened, it certainly makes it all the more interesting. Uh, I did it actually at the request of Henry Kissinger, who was then Secretary of State. I was going anyway to that part of the world, and Chase had business with the leading commercial bank in uh, Iraq, and so I was going for that. And he asked me if I would also go to see him to say that he would like to establish closer touch with the regime. He felt that uh, it was important that our two countries uh, communicated more effectively. I did see him, and uh, uh, he was pretty cold. I don't know rather to be concerned or impressed that he met with one of the world's most infamous tyrants in history like it was just another day at the office. It's grab time! Um, what the f- <gasps> Why are they all not moving? What? What is happening right now? Babies? That one bird really got his priorities together because while everybody else was frozen, he was still macking that bird seed. You seriously think this doll is possessed, do you? I wouldn't necessarily say possessed, but there is, it, it, it has got something, yeah. it's definitely got something. You almost look like Debbie, you don't want to even look at the doll. No, I don't. Are you a bit scared? I don't even want to touch it. Really? Yeah. For and some reason I said, let's buy them. And we so bought, you actually, say we them, there's more three. than one, okay. Oh, we bought three. Um, they were five pounds each, mm -hmm. and we thought, well, we'll buy them because they look like they're worth more than five pounds each. Mm. You know, hands up, I bought them to resell. Look at that, oh, chairs to rock. <laughs> Look at that. Who's doing that? Stop it. Who's doing yeah. that? Mm. <laughs> Yeah. If the original plan was to sell those for more money, then they better not disclose the paranormal activity. Have you ever wondered what would happen if we mined the moon? Well, NASA's Artemis project just entered a new era of discovery that will do exactly that. Artemis plans to develop resources on the moon, initially just oxygen and water, and eventually expanding to iron and other rare elements. First drills are scheduled for as early as 2032. The mission also hopes to have the first woman and person of color reach the moon by 2025. Artemis will advance commercial opportunities in space, with many companies investing billions in the hopes that they will be the first to harvest space's riches. But the first to gain access will be the companies looking to mine oxygen and hydrogen to produce fuel to then sell on to the other developing sectors on the moon. This will allow us to set up more sustainable bases and also allow for new possibilities for missions to Mars and beyond. Or we could just leave the moon alone altogether and not try to monetize it. From 2030, the United Kingdom will introduce Central Digital Introductory Central Bank Digital Currency, they're recruiting staff at the moment. 100 world governments are now heading towards CBDCs. If we have CBDCs in a cashless, digitized society, our spending can be controlled. What we choose to spend money on can be controlled. This just made me think about something. Inflation might get even worse with digital currencies because at least with paper money, you gotta go through a whole process of printing the money before you add it to the circulation. This just takes one press of a button and you add a trillion dollars. This is called the falling block in Wyoming. And it's 75 feet tall. If you can actually see, there's a, a rock climber on the left side, but it's just this giant, what looks like a perfectly carved out uh, square top on this rock and also carved out on the sides. Now, do you think that's natural or is this uh, an ancient megalithic structure that was that was made by an advanced race, maybe the same ones that did the pyramids or all, all the other megalithic structures that we find all around the world. So I'm, I'm showing this one because in the last video I made, I showed some of the ones in Wyoming and, and I mean, not Wyoming, sorry, uh, Montana and Montana and Wyoming are both right next to each other. So I'm wondering, does anyone uh, have any info on this? Has anyone heard about this? Has anyone visited this thing? And if anyone uh, has, did you notice anything weird about it? Did you see anything else around it? Just curious, just wanted to reach out because it's uh, a topic of 
of a lot of discussion, you know, the megalithic structures, the pyramids, the ancient building techniques. You can see several 90 degree angle corners on this thing, which in my opinion doesn't happen too often in nature, but let me know what you guys think about this one. Here we have one of the weirdest insects in the rainforest, a tortoise beetle larva. Its hair is actually an accumulation of its own feces. In time, it hardens to form a shield that protects the larva from predators. They should just rename this to the Rasta Beetle because that looks like a full set of dreadlocks. The current version of history that we've been told is not only incomplete, it's just wrong. It's just flat out wrong. Whether they were big civilizations in Illinois 10,000 years ago, which there were, by the way, how could we not know that? We sent a man to the moon. You can't replicate the technology that created, can't even, you don't have any good guesses how they were built? We don't. We don't even know when they were built. But why would anyone care for suggesting that our historical timelines were wrong and there had in fact been advanced civilizations in earlier moments in time and that they had been eliminated somehow through climactic events through natural disasters and that we're not aware of that in any detail it kind of seems to be true well why don't we know that and what does it tell us about ourselves and about the past that we don't know that's what i would think people would ask but i know that what i learned as a kid is wrong what do we know about civilizations uh -huh. and the answer is like basically not nothing did you read about tartaria we definitely need a new narrative about our history because what we see with our own two eyes doesn't match up with what we've been told about the level of technology available to these ancient civilizations hey guys you want to go scaring you want to go scaring his eyes so big he could probably see into the future but he has zero peripheral vision but with that being said guys that was the video thank you for coming to kick it with me let me know what you guys thought about these creepy tiktoks in the comments below and until next time y'all take care of yourself